What's going on guys? My name is Catan Blunders and I'm coming back to you guys with another Catan gameplay. All right, so it looks like I have the first placement on this board here today. All right, all right, all right. Let's take a look at what is going on. Do see some pretty juicy spots. Um, 843 looks good. 8510 looks good. 695 looks good. So I think it's very debatable where I should be going here. I feel like no matter what, I'll be able to get a decent wheat spot on the way back. So I think the 8, 5, 10 might be the play here. And maybe trying to get onto this 3 for 1 and open up a settlement spot on this 8 wood also looks pretty good. Because, yeah, if I take 8, 5, 10, I have the best road building production. Well, n not necessarily because 6, 9, 4 here looks really good as well. But I have good road building and then all I need is wheat and sheep. Which, yeah, I guess the sheep spots are very limited with this nine sheep here. So, I don't know, man. Maybe it might be better to do six, nine, five because of the limited sheep. But the port situation here isn't nearly as good. Also, you miss out an ore if you do this. You'll likely not... I'll likely not get any ore if I take six, nine, five. So, I think because of that, I got to take eight, five, ten. And then I'd be happy to get on any of these wheat spots pretty much. And I, I think that's our strategy. But I'm totally considering 843 and 694. And I kind of think that this low key isn't a great board uh, to go first on because uh, just looking at all the really damn good spots that we have available here. So I'm going to snag it without any more hesitation here. But let me know if you guys disagree, if you would have placed somewhere else. I just think I'd be stuck if I took the 695, uh, because I wouldn't be able to get ore this game. So, I don't know, man. Yeah, red snags the 695, fair enough. All right, blue take the 843. So, going for black here, I think what would be a really good setup for them is snagging 6311 along with 694, and them trying to get onto the 114 so they can get the ore for the game. Okay, so black looks like they're AFK here <laughs> since they ran out the turn timer. Um, so hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we don't have an AI for this game right off the bat here. Or one thing that black might be doing is just letting the uh, bot make the placements for them. Oh, okay. No, oh, they go with the other 6311 here. And then an immediate placement there for blue. They're doubled up on the 843, but I do think their setup is decent. Okay, and then uh, red here takes the 8, 5, 10. All right, so I got some options here. I think it's between, of course, the 9, 10, 11. Blue is already saying GG red. Well, they are without ore this game, so... Yeah, that's exactly what they say. We'll have to see how it goes, of course. So it's between 9, 10, 11 and the 6, 11, 12 for me. I think 9, 10, 11 might be better. And if I can snag this 5, 4, 11, that would be glorious. And then after, get on the 3 for 1. But I don't want to race blue to the 3 for 1 as well. So it's, uh, it's very tricky. Very tricky indeed. Because, yeah, man, if I, uh, I guess there's this one down here, but that's a shitty one. Uh, yeah. I should maybe try to just focus on getting the three for one before, um, blue does then. Because I think that would be safer. So, I think it's very debatable if I go here where to place my road. Whether to go down to the 9-2 or to try to get on the 5-4-11. Yes, I know I am slow with my placements here. 6, 11, 12, they're saying surely. Maybe I should listen to them. But of course Black wants me to do that. Yeah, I, I'm thinking 9, 10, 11. And I don't know if I cut them or not. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to cut off Black. I want to focus on this 3 for 1 port more. So... I feel like that would have been a waste of a road. At least with this one, I can build to the 9-2. So I at least do like that. And hey, the coordinated 10s are really nice with the ore and the wheat, which I really like. 
First seven here gets rolled by blue, blocking the six wheat. That is nice. Okay, blue isn't even going for the three for one, which is nice. So, I don't know, man. I think I maybe should have considered doing the full cutoff on black here, but I would have had to rely on getting an early brick. Um, and black's road building production, I think, is better than mine. Or, no, it's about equal, but <sighs> very debatable. I think it would have been too risky, but it's not that big of a risk because it's just a waste of one little road that all I can do with here is build to the 9-2, so... Or, yeah. I don't know. Very debatable, so you guys let me know. I'm gonna stop rambling about this situation. <laughs> that's a... that's a no-freaking-go. Eight, we're blocked out of a wood. That is unfortunate. Okay, red building out to their three for one port. Interesting they do that before the 6, 11, 12. Damn, two wood for four wheat. That puts me at eight cards, so that's a no-go. Oh, they messed up that offer anyway. Okay, so he just does a four for one with the bank there. For wood. Where are they going to build their first road? To the 5, 4, 11 or 6? Oh, they're just going to hold on to it. That is interesting. And another 8? Come on. Once again looking for Black's Brick, but yeah, they're not going to trade it. 6? Well, Black has another brick here, so... I don't know. I guess they're not exactly looking for wheat, is the thing. All right, well, I think we buy dev card this turn here. Because if I'm able to pull off a two for one, then I can avoid that risk, basically. Also, blue is an AI, so I don't even really have to worry that much about blue. But they are unpredictable. Okay, they trade off a one for one there. Okay, and now they pull off a two for one. So lots of trading here going for black on their turn. Okay, interesting. They build the two roads out to the 411. <laughs> wow, that was a big turn there for black. They pull off two roads and a settlement. And I do think that's a really good spot for them, of course, because they need the ore. And uh, I guess the wood port might be okay for them as well. Okay, let's gun for dev card here. There's nothing else I can do, so. I'll take a knight, for sure. Wow, immediate payoff there for black as they roll a four. Well, there's a five, right after red says there hasn't been one. <laughs> there's the five, indeed. And speaking of which, I will definitely take another five. If we can happen to roll this. No, I'm, of course we're trading with the bot. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to be quiet in our chat here. Um, also, I'm not playing the knight when the robber's on my eight here, because that's a waste. I already have two wood in hand. Um, and... Yeah, I'd rather play the knight when it's blocking one of my tens, maybe, or something like that. Okay, well, let's pull off a trade there with our bot. I'll take it. I should have offered the one for one first. <laughs> bot, do not do crazy offer. <laughs> well, there is an eight, so we are blocked out of some wood, so I don't know, man. It's debatable if I should have used the knight there or not. Well, here's a seven, so... Hopefully they're going to be blocking red's five. Oh, okay, red's eight. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I think I, in retrospect, building this first road to the 5-4-11 was a better play. Yeah, because it looks like I was 
I would have been able to get it as well. Uh, I think settling on the 10 ore looks pretty good just to get more ore production, but it is debatable. I could just pass, hope to get another brick, and then we can do the full cutoff here to the 5411. So I think for now I just pass and wait to see what we can do. Bot trades all the way. Definitely doing bot trades. <laughs> bot plays the knight, puts it on the six. Excellent, I like that. Let's stop now though, I don't know. I'm, I kind of like the bot trades. <laughs> okay, okay, so black builds the road. I don't know, man. I'm gonna be tempted to do some bot trades this game for sure. <laughs> also, I kept my road building production just in the case that I can roll a five and then get a sheep and a wheat and then fully cut off black. But I, I do think that first road placement uh, was a big blunder for sure. Because I definitely would have been able to snag this up even after I got this three for one. I was just a little too worried about blue, which I shouldn't have been that worried about blue at all. Ooh, 10 roll. I'll take it. That's really nice. Seven roll here for black. I just hope they don't take my ore or wheat. That's worst case Ontario. Okay. That is okay with me. I'm definitely blocking this six. Not entirely sure who to steal from. I think red might be in a better position, but black looks pretty good if they take the 5 4 11 as well. But also, red has no ore production, so therefore, black might be scarier, I think. Well, he's out of time here. Oh, he's gonna use it to block red. Fuck yeah, man. So I don't even have to use my knight. That is definitely favorable for me. <laughs> he definitely didn't get the sheep. Yeah, of course he was looking to settle there. All right, well, let's save our knight here. I think I build the road now to the 10, or I build the two roads to the 910. Because the extra sheep production might be good. Oh man, it's that's tough to tell. Yeah, sheep production might be really good. But then this way it's only one road and then I can potentially settle next turn. But I don't want to let him know. That's not in Red's best interest to get here, I don't think. Well, actually, maybe it is because they need ore. All right, let's do it. Let's go to the 910. That's the selling point for me because of the ore. I don't want red to have the access to the 10 ore, basically. Oh god, and here's a 7. Black discard, so that's really nice. And the bot continues to block the 6 there, which is excellent. All right, we're just looking for a brick, and then we can snag the 910. So, four, there's some brick out there. Let's try to trade. No black has it. I know the AI has it. Asking for two, that is a no-go. I will do one for one. All right, well, I'll do it with the AI. <laughs> Immediate seven there for red. Blocking black, I really like that. So, I'm really hoping for like a couple 10 rolls. City up the eight, five, 10. And yeah, hopefully clutch out from there basically. What is the eight? Yeah, AIs make no sense. Oh, five, too bad. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's use the knight now. Let's move it off of our shit here. And yeah, I do think black is kind of a threat. Oh, I'll take the brick. I can build an immediate road here. Road to where though? 9-2 maybe for slightly more production? Or the other option is just building one right here to try and settle onto the 10 ore. I don't know. I think, well, I'm going to take the production. We already have two settlements here. Um, so, yeah, I'll just, I'll just send it this way. Four roll there for black. Damn, big city. That's for the AI, though, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be hilarious if the bot wins. Oh boy. All right, what are we gonna do? I need wheat or brick to settle. This is all I can do here. Okay, I'll just pass. Three roll. Five roll, I'll take it. Black probably gonna take largest army right now, is my guess. Yep. Where are they putting it? Okay, that is... Okay, just don't take brick. Okay, whatever. I was very nervous of them blocking my 10 ore. <laughs> that was the thing I was worried about. Damn, okay, so they connect up for longest road there. They are kind of stuck though. They need to build cities basically, or build like one more settlement and get like a victory point or something like that. Wow, and another road. I'm very thankful they didn't try to cut me off here. Five, okay. Who has wheat? I'm gonna maybe try and trade with AI. Okay, final offer. Come on, let's go AI. Wow, I've never seen the AI take this long to think. No, no, no. What the hell do I do? Shit. I don't know, man. I was thinking about cutting off black here to the 6-2, but I don't think that's all that beneficial for me. At least I can open up a settlement spot here. But I'm really relying on my uh, 10 to get rolled at the moment. Oh, yes. Yes, please. I'll take that. Okay, that gives red a city. I'm t I still stand by that move, though. Damn, big 10 roll. I really like that. And that's a 9. I like that as well. Also, I just realized I only have the one settlement left to build. Fuck me, man. What the hell? Why does this always happen? Fuck. Ugh. Okay, I gotta get rid of... Oh my god, man. This is just so shitty. That was absolutely horrible. Alright, well, at, l at the very least, I can steal from black here. Well, I should have gotten rid of a brick, but you can't... Did I not steal from black? Of course I want to put it there. <laughs> I stole from black. <laughs> yeah, but he also needs wheat as well. This blocks out his best wheat production. And of course black here rolls the fucking seven. That is really shitty. And they steal wheat from me, that's also shitty. 
At least they, they didn't steal the ore, actually. That would have been worst case Ontario. Oh. Damn, bro. Kind of stuck with this hand here. I'm going to try and buy a dev card. Tricky indeed here. I can't really compete for Longest Road either. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna port this for a wheat and pass. I really don't like doing this, but in the case that we can roll a 10 now, then that gives me a city, which is really what I'm looking for. Okay, so Red is gonna build another city here. As they do some big trades with the bank. Nine, blocked there, but at least we get it here. There's a three roll for black, so, and they're sitting on 12 cards. Of course they don't roll sevens when, when they're over the card limit. Ah. That's a four for a one. I think they're gonna be buying a dev card here. Oh, okay, they had the three or in hand anyway. All right, that's unfortunate. Okay, eight gets rolled. I think we got a gun for devs. Well, guys, big road blunder from myself. That starting road, 100% should have been placed this way. I should have taken the risk because the downside if I did get cut off anyway, wasn't that bad, I think. So, I don't know, lesson learned. If, um, because, like, the only other option I could have done is the 9-2, which honestly isn't all that good. Okay, so black 7's out here, so that's really nice. I think it's kind of a losing battle. The only way I'm able to pull this off is if black just gets unlucky and we're able to take largest army from him which I need two more knights for that. Okay, where am I blocking black here? Because they can settle now as well. Maybe the nine wood actually, because they're probably looking for wood. <laughs> Block myself. Okay, I guess so. Road building is so useless. Uh, Black saying red was going to move it anyway, but like, dude, <laughs> they're one settlement or city or dev card off of the win, so I, I had to use that that turn anyway. That's why I blocked the nine, so he misses out on wood, so he could settle there. Well, GG. I had a big fuck up with my road placement. That was, <laughs> that was very much so game changing, but like, I really didn't think that Black would have been able to clutch out with their setup, but they definitely played very well. Them being able to get all the way over to this four or spot was insane. Okay, yeah, I, I don't really care. That That's fine. He was going to win anyway, so... Uh, bad game for me. 100% very bad game for me. <laughs> I did not play well. Yeah, dude, I should have taken that risk. I got to learn to recognize when it's worth taking a risk or not because that time it was totally worth it and even if black was able to cut me off anyway like it wouldn't have been that big of a setback in my position i don't think because i didn't need that nine two spot so very sloppy game for me well deserved win for black all right see you guys next time